Hi everyone and welcome back to Love. That has been my life recently. So I'm gonna actually insert footage from, sorry, first of all, hello, welcome back to Lovely Gardening Bits. Um, thank you for being patient with me and the fact that I needed last week off last week it was just one of the busiest weeks ever usually the summer and especially july and august are quite quiet for me but because of <laughs> it's like literally every time i go to say something but yes um it's usually quiet enough but like last week was just bananas and I didn't get out of the garden at all but as well the weather has been rubbish and um, I know I was giving out about when it was like really hot but like it's just raining every day but anyway listen it's not raining today it's supposed to rain tonight and I think tomorrow so I was like right I'll come out to the garden film a few bits because I want to kind of give the place a bit of a tidy up and um, but also sorry with the listen to this That is a baby seagull that does that all day. It's one there just over my shoulder, but I'm gonna insert footage here that I recorded um, last week at half five in the morning, or maybe five, five o'clock. They're so loud. <clears throat> so it's mating season, but then also baby seagull season. I love the early mornings, but I miss waking up to, ni to nice little birds tweeting. Not that <laughs> din. Anyway, enough seagull talk. This is what I'm dealing with. Hold on. There it is. Yes, I do live beside the coast, but apparently I was talking to people um, that morning who were kind of quite inland and they were saying that they were also having like seagull issues it is the time of the year but um like there's some people and they can't even sit outside because the seagulls are just really vicious that one there's just like sitting there with his mouth open <laughs> anyway um this might be more of a voiceover style video right now <laughs> let me just show you what i'm planning on let me just show you what i'm planning on doing today Okay, I'm gonna check actually. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna check and see if these are ready to go, but this has been taken off. These are lupin seeds. So I'll see if they're, I might just leave them as is. I'll open one of the little pods and see if the uh, seeds are dry, because otherwise there's no point planting them or sowing them. My ridge one here are finally blooming, but like I'm not crazy on the color, but you know what? they'll do and I might be able to divide the plants too. I'm going to have more yellow roses here soon. There's like lots of buds after I deadheaded um, stuff last year. I think I'm going to do is see these trailing nasturtiums. Oh my god they're like taking over here but they're stopping light from getting into the veg bed there and that has the carrots. The poor carrots don't have a look in because the tomatoes are overgrown again but now I'm going to cut this back and just kind of keep them here and then what I'm going to do here as well is pull out these uh, sweet pea plants too. I'll cut off the last few little blooms um, and then that'll be it because it's too crazy, it's too overcrowded. Story of my life. <laughs> and then yeah, I'll need to tackle again the tomato plants because oh my god, there's just so many. I don't think I'll grow tomatoes in a veg bed again. I think they're best in pots for me on the patio it's too much and they're kind of hard to prune when they're in like this but anyway yeah gonna get rid of all this got some peas here i'm gonna pull those um yeah this the tomatoes from the other side ridiculous i'm going i think pull up those peas or not peas beans in the back there um yeah because i don't even know what i have in there Ooh. anyway more tomatoes here <laughs> I remember the veg plugs that I bought last week so the idea was that I was going to put some in the back here but the tomatoes are tomatoing too hard. Corn on the cob is looking good. So 
they won't be ready for like another good few weeks now. So I'm keeping an eye on these silks. They're kind of they feel rubbery at the moment. Oh, there's a new one there. But whenever they go all kind of like dry and brown, then they'll be ready. So whenever the sweet corn is done by the end of the month, that will free up this um, veg bed for me completely. Look, my sunflowers are coming on great. These are the sun gold, I think. Or no, sunspot. But look, these have so many heads. There there and these will all be like different colors well like each plant will have the same color but like i've got a plant there there two more there remember i did headed these roses la uh, a couple weeks ago i can see the start of little buds don't think i'll get any more buds from this oh down there we got some my little dorish sunflowers are doing really well i can't wait for them to open i love them I might actually cut these. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they do need to be supported. Um, but look, lots more buds here. I think I said this before, so yeah, mom just took a cutting from, I don't know, was it a friend or her sister? And just stuck it in a pot. You can see there's more down there. She didn't put any like hormone rooting powder or anything. But yeah, I think next week I'm gonna do cuttings too. I wanna research what I want to do so that I'm ready for action. More roses that are gonna come up from cuttings that mum did we don't know what colour they're going to be but yeah it just looks a little bit kind of scraggly higgledy piggledy but that's okay and I think what I'll do is like the day that I'm going to be weeding that border down there I'll just do it I won't bother filming it because oh little feather <laughs> look at that mm -hmm. yesterday was my dad's anniversary he passed away 14 years ago and actually I came out and I cut some flowers and brought them up to his grave. It was just really nice. I'll insert a picture of what they looked like here. They're so cute. But anyway, I'm going to now put the music. Oh yeah, also here as well. We had somebody last week to come and cut back these lilac bushes. I think they're called. They're just cut to be in line with the fence. And oh my God, the garden just feels bigger and brighter. So I'm excited. But the guy kind of tore asunder my poor um honeysuckle so I'm gonna have to try and fix that um, but hopefully hopefully it will come back I'll just train it to kind of go down alongside the fence here but I remember a couple of weeks ago I gave the cat mint a haircut it's doing great I must actually give everything a good feed out here I haven't done that in ages but anyway I'm gonna turn off me talking the noise of seagulls and put some music on
I'm just busy clearing out everything. Feels great. Have my little bucket done, I'm putting everything in. But look what I'm after finding. Hold on. Oh, I think that's a cucumber in there. Now I think it's probably gone a little bit soft. It's probably been sitting in the ground, but I got one. I'm gonna try and pull everything back. I'm actually gonna try and take out the bean plants that are in the back of there. Give me a bit more space. Remember I bought these veg plugs a couple weeks ago? Yes, they're still sitting on the table, but because I have no room in the veg beds, what I'm going to do is pot them on and just let them live their destiny. <laughs> because you can see here, like on the curly kale, it's gone all yellow, so it's going to, um, like in the end of the leeks here, so they've kind of taken all the nutrients from the tiny bit of soil. So I'm going to put those into larger pots Here are my strawberry plants and I'm gonna get a couple of free plants from the existing ones. So, so what I do is I keep an eye out for these. These are runners. And see this little plant here? Hang on now. This will be a new strawberry plant for next year. And you know what? There'll be another one on the end as well. So what I'm gonna do is some compost. Oops, stick it in and somehow try to wedge it in. <laughs> I might need to be inventive. One second now. Okay, I found just something. So we're gonna take the little runner, sit it in here. And then I have these from last year to kind of help tack down my netting. I'm just gonna push that in. <laughs> and that's not enough. Okay, we've got a larger container. Let's try this, so. We just want to wedge down enough so that the roots take hold. So this is still too uh, tall for this, so it's fine. And there is another one here. So I'm just going to leave those sit there. They'll take hold, set roots, and then I'll be able to cut here so that that will be its own individual plant and I'll keep an eye out for the end here as well. I have more strawberries in there as well and here and I can see there's another one there's another one so I'm gonna do the same with those now. Oh, the camera didn't record but you can see I just did it for the other two there they were a little more pointy in the roots so they're sitting nicely and then both have an extra another little bit coming on the end so I'll just wait for them to turn into a root and then I'll do the same thing. That was a good day's work. I feel that there was lots of like bits of jobs done and um, what I will say wasn't as relaxing as I was hoping it would be just with the noise of the birds then the noise of the dog um, and I feel like my throat is getting sore. Anyway I'm such a big moan but do you know what I opened one of the lupin seed things and they are ready to go. So I might bring those inside and do that later. And 
I have like little white envelopes then I'm gonna save them so look that one's already opened because I would love to, I absolutely loved those lupins last year or this year I'd love more of them I have to protect them from the slugs that would be next year's job operation mind the slugs but at least all the veg are repotted it's gonna rain shortly I think that was on my mind as well I was like I have to get what I need done done if it was a greenhouse I'd have somewhere to sit and film if it was raining I wouldn't do it here on this patio I would do it over in that corner I think but you know what put it on my vision board. I'd love something big enough that if it was raining that the family could sit inside like we could put like a little table in there and um, it's like my house is only tiny so that's why we love the patio so much it's nice and big and spacious but I'd love a greenhouse that we could sit in but then also be packed to the rafters is that the right word? Packed to the gills with plants. Oh, I'd love it because I was like this close to buying one recently but it was just like one of those normal aluminium ones and I was like no I'd love one like Catherine's one but I think I would need it to be bigger to serve both purposes you know to have like a table to either do my potting all that kind of stuff then a table for us to sit at if we needed to but then also room for tomatoes and plants because like I think my greenhouse would be like a fully functional growing place but listen I need to go and have a shower. I feel gross, but I feel lovely. Next week looks much better weather-wise, which is good. So it means I might have a couple of days out in the garden. Thanks, Mill, for watching, and I'll see you in next week's video. Like, why couldn't it have been like this earlier? Anyway, chat to you later. <laughs>